The wind is right. Yeah. I kind of hit, and there's Tom. Secure play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. My replacement Fat Shark 1G3 receiver module just came in the mail. This is the new one over here, this one right here, and this is the original one that had problems. But I just wanted to mention that they look identical. I can't see any difference between the two. Even the trap filters are the same value, so I assume it still has the same problem with the audio. I marked this one with a V2 just so I know that this one is the right one. I also marked it on the back. So this is the new one. There's just no difference in the labeling and on the boards. You can't tell them apart. So I'm glad I labeled it because once I lay them side by side I can't tell. They even look the same on the back. There's just no difference at all. There's, there was no difference in the uh, packaging that came with it. It's the same packaging with the same numbers on it. And uh, the bill or the uh, receipt that came with it uh, didn't have any different information either. It was the same thing. So can't tell anything by looking at them. So let's go on to the testing and just see if the new one has the problems resolved. First, just a recap on the testing I did on the original Fat Shark module. I used my Dominator V2 goggles with a set of circular polarized antennas and I used my Twin Star plane with Vector OSD. I used a digital brand transmitter from ReadyMade RC and set it to 1258. You can see the display was very bright and the characters on the Vector OSD were flickering and the trees were flickering. Okay, then I went back and set the digital transmitter to 1280 and I also set the goggles to the new frequency, 1280. And as you can see, it looks pretty much the same. It's bright, and the characters on the Vector OSD were flickering. Then I went to the Laser Brushless Gimbal module, and you can see everything looks just fine with the same equipment and works just good. So now here is the recent test with the new Fat Shark 1G3 module that's supposed to be corrected. I'm using my V2, Dominator V2 goggles with a circular polarized set of antennas, same as before, and I'm using the Twin Star plane with a Vector OSD and a digital receiver from ReadyMade RC. So all the equipment is the same as the first test. Uh, the camera is a board cam from RunCam. So here's the display and it's kind of flickery and bright just like the test with the original module. I don't see a lot of difference here. The audio still doesn't work either. So that is a drawback. And I heard that that's the trap filters, that uh, they can be changed, but it's a little bit of trouble. So that is what it looks like on 1258. Now let's go to 1280. So I went ahead and set the digital transmitter to 1280, and then set the goggles to 1280 as well. And here's what the video looks like. It's the same as before, kind of bright and flickering. Now I've heard that the, uh, that the DVR in the Dominator goggle sometimes gets extra brightness, but I don't understand why they wouldn't make the module to compensate for that since it's made for the Dominator goggles. The sound still doesn't work either way, and uh, I think it would look better if the Vector OSD was maybe adjusted a little bit, but as you'll see in the next uh, video clip, it looks just fine with a, with a laser brushless gimbal module on 1280. So take a look at this next footage. This is compared to the laser brushless gimbal company's receiver on the left there, and then we have the, the second run Fat Shark 1G3 module on the right. And here it is compared with the original. Uh, Fat Shark module and the new one, which you can see there's very little difference. So I'm looking forward to seeing what other people's video looks like uh, with their modules that they just got, and uh, I hope we'll be able to figure this out and what works best. Here, play.